Codingface.com. Listen, I'm out here once again answering questions on Quora. So I found this pretty cool question, which was, is React killing Angular? What do I think about that, right? Um, I think React is something that was amazing, you know, bringing in components and, you know, pretty much introducing a lot of people to ES6. Because um, if it wasn't because of React, even myself, I probably wouldn't even be interested in ES6 or anything, you know, even TypeScript or anything like that, right? So, when it comes to Angular, Angular uh, was one of the first ones to come out, one of the first frameworks, and, and it did a lot of good things, you know, for the community. But at the same time, it was like one of the first. So, what does that mean? It means that we're gonna see all the mistakes that they made and then. The things that we hate about it, we're gonna fix it and react. But at the same time, we can't leave out Angular because Angular is it, pretty much too deep into the industry right now. Like, if you go online and you search, let's say, let's go to indeed.com, right? Let's say you search. Uh, Nowhere and let's search Angular, right? Okay. There's like most likely like, like so many jobs, ten thousand jobs, eight thousand jobs. So you know, just to be an Angular developer is, is very profitable, out here, right? Plus, there's so much legacy code because when everybody starts jumping in on the front end frameworks on the single page apps everybody jumped onto angular so now react which is actually fixing all the things that angular had all the mistakes that they made they basically trying to do a catch up you know try to catch up on, online and also if you check let me see what's the name of this similar tech all right we could look online and see how many websites actually are running angular and which ones are running react so give me one second react yes here angular. It's comparison. now as you can see there's 500,000 websites that are actually using angular and then 91,000 that are actually using React. Now, numbers don't lie. So, <laughs> as you can see, there's a lot of people using Angular. And this, you know, there's a lot of people too also using React, but you can't even compare it. This, you know, one to five, basically. So it's like, <laughs> it is a big difference, right? So it's a killing. Uh, Angular, I don't know. I don't think so. They're both gonna coexist in the industry and they're both gonna be there, you know, neck to neck at one point. I think in the next three, four years, you're gonna start seeing Angular go down as far as new websites and then React coming up. So then it's gonna meet up right in between, right in the middle, right? But uh, there's gonna be companies that's gonna be hard for people to just let go of angular because they've been doing it for three four years it's like myself right now i've been working on react for two years already right it's gonna be very hard for me to just say hey i'm gonna leave react i'm gonna leave everything that i already invested on and just jump onto something like Vue.js or riot js or what's the other one um I saw something called Maddox or MLK, something like that. Some weird JavaScript uh, framework that supposedly is popping up now, right? Or even Polymer 2, which Google's trying to promote. I don't know, man. I think Angular is going to be king. That's why no matter what, that little crown is going to be there for a little while. Guys, like, we like it or not. But at the same time, Developers who are more experienced in this field most likely will choose React over Angular. 
whenever they're working on a new project. Now, if they're working on legacy code, they just have to, you know, code in that legacy code of Angular 1. Because most of the sites, even though you see AngularJS here, they're not talking about Angular 2. Not that many people have picked up Angular 2 at all, right? So everybody's working on Angular 1 still, even in 2017. All right, so that's my opinion on this question. Uh, yeah, man, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out my website, codingphase.com. It's coming out pretty soon. As you can see, I'm still working on it, but this website is going to be so legit. It's going to be a, a great community for brand new developers and, you know, people who have new questions, right? Make sure you subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash codingphase. All right, you already know. It's your boy Joe. Back at it again. Wow. GGG, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. By the way, if you want to know exactly what courses I took to become a web developer, they're right there in the description. It's no secret. It's nothing crazy. It's no secret gift that I had. It's just pretty much I took the courses. They're pretty cheap. They're like $15 each on specials. And just listen, man. Change your life. Change your lifestyle. Do something fun and something cool that you could call a career. Bow.